Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to discuss second property of determinant. And our statement is that if two rows, okay, remember two rows or columns, two columns, okay, are of a determinant are interchange. That mean if uh, two row or two column are if uh, two column are interchange, okay, if column is interchange, that mean the de the determinant is also change or the sign of a determinant is change, okay. So let's uh, we are going to prove this today. Let determinant let's me take delta okay. Delta is what determinant. Let me take a one, a two, a three. I'm going to take three by three. Okay? B one, B two, B three, C one, C two, C three. This is our determinant. This is our original determinant. So let's expand. Okay. Expanding the determinant this one delta along what you can take uh, first row or first column something like that. but let me choose first row. I'm going to take the determinant or I'm going to expand uh, in the first row. Okay, so delta which is in the first row. If I take the first row, okay, I mean a one what b two c3 minus b3 c2 minus because this position is first column first row second column okay this is odd number so negative b1 and it will be a2 c3 minus a3 c2 plus y plus c1 is first row third column which is even number so which is positive so c1 so you get a2 b3 minus a3 b2 and this is our determinant okay now let delta 1 be the determinant Okay, obtain from this original determinant delta by interchanging first and third column. Okay. You can take other also, okay? Second, first and second, or second and third, or row also. You can take row one and row and row three, or row two and row three, or row two and row one also. You can take, okay? But let me choose this one, okay? Now delta one is what? Since what do we change? First column and third column. They mean first column and third column. I'm going to inter interchange. So C one, C two. C3 they mean third column in the first row and first column in the third column. So and second column is remain the same. Okay. Now I'm going to expand in the first row. Okay, let me expand again in the first row. Yeah, you can take for other also. Second row, third row, so you can take. No harm. Now expanding the determinant in first row. Okay, I'm going to uh, first row. I'm going to expand okay, using first row. First row C1, B2, 
a3 minus b3 a2 minus b1 c2 a3 minus c3 a2 plus a1 a1 c2 b3 minus uh, b2 c3 no harm okay this because multiplication is uh, commutative okay we will change this also no harm this is c2 now if you compare with the uh, original one which is absolutely wrong isn't it these two are not same okay. in order to get there have a1 a1 here is a1 okay and here is b2 c3 b2 c3 in here so that means b2 c3 in this is negative so i'm going to take out the negative here okay that means negative that and this so the negatives will be common so a1 if i take this uh common out okay that means b2 c3 this become minus b3 c2 and here also uh, if you see this b1 b1 a2 c3 a2 c3 in here so if i take out minus common b with this positive and since we take out minus neg uh, negative uh, common again that mean minus will be there again so a2 c3 minus c2 a3 you can interchange again okay? because multiplication is always commutative and again here if you compare with this c1 c1 here's b2 a3 b2 a3 in is in and the second term here okay but this is in first term so we are going to take this negative come uh, taking out okay taking out in common so negative and again since we take negative common again then negative will be involved here so it will be positive absolutely and it will be c1 uh, a2 b3 minus b2 a3 and now compare compare the determinant of these two original and the new new determinants okay? which is a1 b2 c3 a1 b2 c3 minus b3 c2 b3 c2 and so on so this means this and this are same okay that means you we get the new determinant is minus of the original one then mean our statement is true okay one is our statement if two rows or two columns of a determinant are interchange here this is the original okay here we interchange two column then it's first and the sec uh, third column here we interchange them and so the sign of the determinant is changed so here the sign is also changed which is changed to negative okay this is just the conclusion okay and the interchanging of any two rows or column of a determinant Chance changes the sign. Okay, from this, the original one is delta, but the new one is delta one, so it changes the sign. Okay, so which is our proof.